Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to the worship service uh, with the Working Wiring and Mirawaka churches. And I really look forward to look, uh, meeting with you face to face. So until that time, let us stay healthy and safe. Please remember that all of you are in my prayer and please keep me in your prayer as well. Today we will begin the worship with the opening prayer. Please find it in the family worship bulletin. Let us pray together. Source of all creation, maker of the world and everything in it, you are never far from each one of us. Reveal yourself to us, dwell with us, and abide in us. We live because of you. We hope because of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, in whom we live, in the spirit of the truth, who abides in us. Amen. Today's scripture reading is from the book of Acts, chapter 1, verses 6 through 11. Chapter 1, verses 6 through 11. So let me read it for you. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It's not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by His own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When He had said this, as they were watching, He was lifted up, and a cloud took Him out of their sight. While He was going and they were gazing up toward heaven, Suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. And I think you already know, you can find the children's message right top corner. Please find it over there and then show it to your children or grandchildren or other uh, family members. Friends, why it is a sad thing that we are not able to get together face to face? Yes, it's a sad thing, but it's a good thing that we can still communicate online and even worship together with the help of technology. Yes, we are connected uh, together through internet, phone calls, and even mail system. There are a lot of meetings and gatherings going on online these days. I also had a lot of online meetings uh, with Zoom uh, so far. And today, I would like us to remember those who work at the post office. Work at the post office. In addition to the internet, there are more ways that help us to be connected. It's not just internet. There are more ways to help us to be connected. And the post office is one of the ways to help us to be connected. For example, we worship online with this video, but not everyone has internet access. Therefore, they get the family worship bulletin by mail. By mail. Some of you uh, get the family worship bulletin by mail. Likewise, I am glad that we have a mail delivery system and grateful for their work. 
And how about all the truckers on the road? The truckers on the road. Without their work, we might have more difficulty in this pandemic situation because of a lack of commodities and supplies. They help us to reach out to one another and connect us through their works. Because of their works, thanks to their works, we can be still connected to one another. We can still reach out to uh, others. Even though we still miss seeing each other face to face, we thankfully have people and system that help us to be connected. In today's scripture reading, we are reminded of the work of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit connects us to one another. He binds us together. Does He bind us together just on Sunday? And during weekdays, He doesn't bind us together? No. He binds us together anytime, wherever we are. The Holy Spirit also reminds us of the Word of God. Word of God. The Word of God, God's Word, has the power to make us be united. To make us be united. The Word of God is living and active, the book of Hebrews says. The Word of God is not confined to a physical, the paper copy of a book. The Word of God is living and active. Likewise, the Word of God is beyond space and time. Space and time. Therefore, we can say that God's Word is with us anytime, wherever we are. And the Holy Spirit helps us and guides us to listen to God and His Word. Today's scripture reading describes the conversation between Jesus and his disciples. The followers asked Jesus like this, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? The kingdom of Israel collapsed. And is this the time you will restore kingdom to Israel? At the time, they had an interest in Israel only, not the whole world, only Israel they were focusing on. Their vision or focus was on Israel only. However, Jesus, God the Son, had a plan to save the whole world as well as Israel. Therefore, Jesus said to them, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, of course, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Jesus' answer widens the view and broadens their vision of the followers to the world, whole world, from Israel. Are your vision? just on Israel? Let me broaden your vision. I have a plan to save the whole world, not just Israel. Jesus widens and broadens their view and vision at the time. When Jesus received a question from his followers about the restoration of Israel, he wanted to remind them that the work of God is not limited to a certain time or place. There is not good or bad time to restore the kingdom to Israel. It's up to God. In His authority, He will do whatever He wants to do. That's what Jesus said. He was reminding them there is no limitation when God wants to do His work. So the Word of God can be delivered. The Word of God can be spoken beyond the space and time. That's what Jesus wanted to tell the followers and tell to us even today. God's Word, good news, the Gospel, it can be delivered. It can be spoken beyond the space and time. Friends, John Wesley, the founder of Methodism, 
considered the whole world as his parish, as his parish. He was born in England. He was studying and working in England. He came to the States as a missionary in Georgia area. However, he knew that the work of God was not confined to England and the States only. He believed that the gospel can be delivered and spoken beyond the space and time. Then friends, how about you today? Do you believe that the gospel can be delivered and be spoken beyond the space and time? Aren't you already witnessing right now that the word of God is being delivered and shared beyond the space and time? We are not getting together physically right now. That's a sad thing. However, this pandemic situation cannot stop us to worship. It cannot stop us to be connected. We worship online. We take care of each other by phone, email, and even mail. A letter and card we share each other. So this current pandemic situation cannot stop us to be connected. Are these possible just because of the internet and mail system? I believe that the Holy Spirit makes us be connected through those ways, like the internet, mail system, or phone calls. It is God who gave us those ways to be connected. Through internet, through phone calls, and mail systems, God works in us to be connected. God helps us to be connected together in those ways. Friends, let us remember today, we are not alone. We are not alone. We are never isolated as long as we have the Holy Spirit with us. The Holy Spirit keeps connecting us to one another. When Jesus was lifted up to heaven, his disciples were watching him. Where is Jesus going? He's going up to the heaven. At the moment, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them and told them like this, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Jesus will come to us again. Jesus will come to us again in the same way as the disciples saw him go into heaven. Then friends, how would you wait for his coming? How would you wait for his coming? Verse 8 tells us what to do while we wait for Jesus coming. It says, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Let us be witnesses of Jesus in Brown County, Jackson County, the state of Kansas, the United States, and the whole world. Let us be the witnesses of Jesus. The Holy Spirit, who works beyond space and time, is with you. So you can be the witnesses of Jesus to the ends of the earth. Let us remember that today. God the Spirit helps us to be connected beyond space and time. Let us pray. Dear God the Spirit, we thank you for your work in us, for us, through us. Please help us to always remember that we are connected with you and we are connected with others as long as we believe in you. And please help us to be faithful witnesses of Jesus to the end of the earth, even in this pandemic situation. We would like to witness the gospel. We would like to be the witnesses of the gospel in this world.
Please help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, thank you for joining today's worship service with us. And then, as I mentioned uh, in the beginning, I look forward to meeting with you face to face as soon as possible. But at the same time, I hope all of you and pray that uh, stay healthy and safe in this season. So uh, let us uh, keep in touch with one another uh, under the help of the Holy Spirit this week. Please uh, join me in the Lord's Prayer to close the worship together. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Okay, thank you. Have a good week.